this is FHB. Now FHB is a company that provides all the traditional dress to the carpenters and joiners of Germany and Europe indeed. And it's something that we don't do in the UK. We do love our workwear, but they're very serious about their tradition, their culture, and the whole appearance. They are being, you know, carpenters, tradesmen, joiners are held in high regard they're in pristine. Germany. These, these, the uniforms they wear are absolutely immaculate. And even the guys and girls attending, the tradespeople, are proud to be wearing their kit. So we're going to have a chat with Peter, who's over here, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the history of what or how it came about. And we may even get to rock some of this uniform. So I found some chaps here who are wearing the traditional wear. What's your name? Henning. Henning. Hi, Henning. Hi, I'm Fabian. Fabian, right. So you are wearing traditional wear. Does the buttons mean anything? Yes. Uh, we have eight buttons on the vest, sir. It stands for eight hours of work at the day. Really? Okay. And on the jacket you have six buttons. That stands for six days work in the week. Ah, oh, so you six day work week. In Germany, yes. In Germany, yeah. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Really interesting. Thank you guys very much. Yes. You look brilliant. You're and I hopefully we can look as smart as you two after we've had a little time at FHB. <laughs> and another tradition in Germany at the Daschenholz is the beer. So every stand has a bar and beer and it's like a festival feeling. Everyone's having a beer and it's really quite nice. Uh, the hospitality here is really good. It's about 25 euros per day to get in, but basically you can easily cover that just in beer. And I'm going to be speaking to Peter and he is like the ambassador for FHB. Uh, hey Peter, how are you? How's, how's the shop? Yeah, we're in shot. It's all good. Great. So, yeah. Peter, thanks so much for talking to us. Well, now, this is Ed, I'm Robin, and we're from the UK, and we're carpenters as well. And in the UK, we're not so um, traditional about how we dress, right, okay? Right, right. And I'm one thing I said to Ed, Ed's my apprentice, and I said, you must see the FHB workwear. And I honestly think that in the UK, we should be adopting some sort of signature outfit okay. of what okay. we're going to wear. So I'd like to ask you about the tradition behind the uniform or the style. Actually, it looks a long time ago when we started. Actually, it goes back to the um, Middle Age, where the, where the carpenters traveling around the world and they couldn't learn any, any further things when uh, they worked for two years um, in a company. So they have to go abroad and see what's going on in other countries. And this was based in the Middle Age, and then it goes further on, and they had to wear um, corduroy. Why corduroy? See, corduroy was special, and this corduroy comes from Manchester. Well, corduroy might not be a good material, because sawdust, they might have sawdust would stick to corduroy like. Yeah, corduroy really. actually has a lot of disadvantages, and of course, advantages. The thickness is amazing, we have 550 gram per square meter. Wow. So when you compare normal workwear, we have 300 gram, we have 250 gram. So that means double. So we, we managed to talk to some locals wearing the uniform and ask them about the buttons. And he said on his waistcoat, he has eight, eight buttons right. Right. for eight hours working in the day. Absolutely. And on his jacket, he has six buttons six. for the six days of the week. This is the tradition. So, so yeah, brilliant. Everything, everything has a tradition. Yeah. So. And how and about the trousers with the buttons? The, the trousers are the funniest thing. My, my, uh, yeah, my family was starting that business in 1943. Wow. So in, at that time, and when you see old pictures, nobody has two zippers. It is tradition. Right. What counts. So it's okay. a new, new tradition, I'd say. From yeah, 1943. Yeah, right. Really? 1943. Yeah, yeah. And at that time, we produced the trousers in Bielefeld. It's in more the north of uh, Germany. Then we moved to Spenge, a little town. And since then, we're producing. We still have 45 suing people. No. And they're suing. And this is phenomenal. Our really, really heavy trousers, not the complicated ones, but they have, and also the, the, the customized trousers we make. Wow. wow. And so how many pairs of trousers do you make a year? When we speak about the Zoom, the real Zoom trousers, we make around 200,000 uh, trousers. 200,000? Wow. 
Germany. How many carpenters are there in Germany? I know this is probably a European-wide tradition uh, now. Right, 60,000 carpenters. Right. And more than, and this is for sure, more than 100,000 uh, roofers. Is there? And they have the same tradition. Fine. I'd say it goes back to carpenters, but ro uh, roofers, have, they are wearing um, not corduroy. Yeah, they so we learned that a second the, ago. We call it English leather. Uh, it contains 100% uh, cotton. The thickness is the same. Is it? And uh, it looks beautiful after wearing it six months. You break it, it looks, in, it looks better the more you wear it. Absolutely. Like, like leather, looks, like real leather. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So I awesome. reckon, Ed, we should actually try some bits on and maybe even bring a bit for, to England. And, That'd be amazing. And put it, bring, bring corduroy back to you. Yeah, bring oh, corduroy I already back wear to corduroy, Manchester. Don't worry. Okay, so um, that's brilliant, Peter. That's a real good insight into it. And now, how do you see the future? I think you're modifying them. You've got some more trendy-looking ones. Absolutely, absolutely. So we are strong when you look around. Everybody is now wearing our trousers. Amazing. You see that. But the people like to have more functionality, yeah? more pockets and elastic parts. Right. In, in special areas, so we develop, and, and I can show you some other articles, and they are fashionable, functional, and uh, elastic. And this is a this is a trend action. Brilliant. So another question I've got yeah. is, when the chaps are on site working, do they actually still wear the whole corduroy again? That's a normal yeah. working thing. When or they is go that, to work, that like a, a show? Actually, I, I can. I can show you the dress. The dress is really the classic zoom trouser, yeah. corduroy or English leather, then the West, yeah. and with the special shirt we have. Oh, okay. This is the traditional. And they will wear that on site. Yeah, that is just they, normal they every day, no, not, no, no, not no, no, because it's a show. And the special wool hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the rain and the sun. And the sun. Brilliant. Well, I'm let's really have excited. A look. Let's, let's have get a kit look. up. We have 10 different colors, <laughs> everything is on stock, and you can combine it. And every company now has a special corporate image color. Ed's going for the corduroy look, which is more traditional. So yeah, boot cut, cut sort of flare style. Yeah, do you wear boots or do you wear shoes? Because normally, site, normally they, they wear boots. More, more boots. More boots. More boots. Yeah. More boots. Yeah. More boots. But also the boots have a special story. When you see our old boots, yeah. they have original wheel right. under. The old traditional roofer boot. Roofer you see, right. this is a used wheel. Oh, use wheel. Oh, because I the then, yeah, yeah. then if you you're working on the roof, and you have the best performance on the roof, not yeah. to slip away. I'll just show you if you can see that it is a tire wheel they've used. A recycled and tire. Actually, it's not recycled. It's just uh, brand new. It tire. is the one. So a, a lot of roofers I know complain about wearing boots on a roof because when their feet get caught in the batten. But these look like you can fit those in between the batten nicely and uh, really non-slip. But I must admit, it is it's not a real safety boot. No, it has not no. nothing inside. So yeah. actually, it is forbidden on the roof in Germany now. Yeah. But most of them, they wear this. And this is the other one. And you see, this is, it has everything. Yeah. So the midsole is, uh, and, and, and the front, everything is uh, S3. So this Brilliant. is um, certified. Awesome. Right, let's okay. try on some gear. Something and you have now. This is our luxury version. You see the boot cut and all the different pockets, but the enforcements yeah. are real leather. Nice. You can see how how difficult yeah, yeah, it must yeah. be to quality. sew it. Yeah, yeah it's hard to sew it. Yeah, it's a thick gauge. Try it. How's the weight? Oh yeah, it's wow. amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's really amazing. Brilliant. Yeah. Right, I'll try it on. Thanks, Ed. That's yeah. very nice. That's good health. Look, look at that. Even they've got the same FHB beer. Always brand beer. everything. And this is the local Pilsner? Or? Yeah, it's local. Uh, from our area, a little brewery, and it's absolutely delicious. I'm we sure it, it is. We'll we try it. it. We Thank you. Try it. Come on, I drink also. Yeah. Happy days. We're all drinking, and it's just, it's nearly, it's actually. 10 to 12 local time, so we're all right. We can we can get away with it. It's 10 to 12, Ed, it's okay. <laughs> Cheers. 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 There you go. Oh, Ed, you look you look divine, mate. I tell you, you look like these look good. Abba. <laughs> <laughs> so the double zip in front. They fit you all right, Ed. They're all right. Fitting well here, but it's a, actually it's too short. Okay, so he's too tall. 
That's not a surprise. Actually, he's too tall for the German trousers, yeah. but... But you're the same height. You could be twins. Yeah, but I think he has... The high no waist. Yeah, the yeah. High <laughs> yeah, He's got long legs and a short body like a giraffe. We, we, we are not prepared for that guy, <laughs> so... Um, but we definitely have it a bit longer, so... Okay. Yeah, we do. Do a speciality, do. extra long ones. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Special But order. you see all the pockets here. Yeah. And it's very practical. Stage Start one complete. Excellent. Oh, nice. Granddad collar. Nice. The shirt uh, blooms out. It's like a blouse more than a shirt. Yeah, oh, this is, suit you, this is a traditional way. And okay. I can show you. Yeah. You, when it's warm, Yeah. normally you make it that way. Uh -huh. But the carpenters do that way. Uh, under tuck it so nothing gets under, so, when so nothing comes hey. ah it's hey. genius so don't don't turn your sleeves the right way turn, turn them the, the other way, way because we don't want the right way <laughs> let's finish the look right here we go so here we go now the traditional one here we go the waistcoat oh. <laughs> Yeah. I'm absolutely yeah. loving this Ed. And look at look at Ed, look at Ed rocking this. He looks here. Oh, is it like this one? Yeah, when you do it for the first time, it's a, it's a bit hard. The oh, other the, the other one. So oh. you have to close it here. Then it's not so easy when it's new. And what are the buttons made out of? It's like mother of this one. The when you the normal one, you have a it is artificial. But mother the, the of people pearl. they're walking around and traveling with it. This material is mother of pearl button. I thought it might be mother of yeah. pearl. Mother of pearl button. It's very traditional. And you see the way we sew it on is a Z for Zoom. Oh. You see? Everything is... I everything love it. Has a reason. So this is actually... This is mother of pearl? This is mother of pearl. Wow. You I mean, see that's amazing. The, the, Where did you get the mother of pearl from? Actually, it's from... from I think it's from Italy. Italy, yeah, okay, it's okay. Italy. So the Italians have something to do with it as well. Yeah. Because it's... You know, Italian is a home of fashion and right. well, and culture as well. So yeah, the, even the Italians have, have, have done their bit with the tradition. I love it. I think it's absolutely amazing. This is the normal workwear clothing. Yeah. And when you um, have a little party and you're traveling around. Oh, look at this. So now, now we change the role. Oh, I make the interview. Yeah. <laughs> you have the people walking around. They have a special tie. Here we go. Here I am. Yeah, perfect. Great. Brilliant. We forgot one thing. You have, we have a special belt. So here's the belt. Oh, with a crown on. This is actually, it looks like a crown, but it isn't. It is the sign, if you have a roofer or a waller or a carpenter, it's different signs. Okay. So, and this is the direction. But they all have the, this really, really heavy belt. And you can make it... You see? This is the belt. Ah. And this is... The buckle. Beautiful. Right, let's get you dressed up. Hundred percent wool. So this protects you from the rain. Yeah, absolutely. At the beginning, it's a bit uh, stiff, but but then it's perfect. It breaks in Simple. when it gets wet. And yeah, absolutely. So there's now no excuse not to turn up for work for six days a week or work eight hours a day because I've got my hat, I've got my corduroy, and I'm sorted. I can work non-stop yeah, now. You will be happy after that. <laughs> Brilliant. So, that's great. Right, let's get you changed, Rob. Let's get you in the same get up. <laughs> Brilliant. I feel myself now. Uh, everyone. Ed, shall I come out? Come out the closet. Can you see? <laughs> the only thing I have got, which is in addition to the traditional dress, is a modern day microphone. And. Oh, hold on. I've got a belt. Hold on. Let me rock my belt. This Put is a bit of diamond really... back on it. Yes. Look, it will fit. Absolutely. Perfectly, look. Ta da! Look I'll tell you got. what, it's super comfortable, Ed. Yeah. It's. What do you think of carpentry in the United Kingdom wearing a traditional costume? In fact, it's, a, it's, it's more than a traditional costume. There's so many reasons why the material is like it is, the shape is like it is. There's, you know, they say a lot about German engineering. You know, I drive a German car. I drive a German van. I like visiting Germany. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things to be said for you know the quality. And most of our tools, most of our power tools we buy are German. And I think that um, we need we can learn a lot. We're a big industry. 
200,000 carpenters or thereabouts in the UK. And I think we can learn a lot about smartening ourselves up. And look at Ed, look. You've got to I represent mean, yourself. He looks amazing, look. And I've got this... Uh, Where's your, we need a waistcoat. Oh, waistcoat. The, the, where's the, yes, yeah. Peter's got your waistcoat. I love waistcoat. the old He's shirt, though, mate. It's nice. amazing. Oh, yeah. you got your top button undone? He said to undo the top button. Just like that. Open it. That's okay. Fine. Okay, well, I think this is looking good. Oh, here we go. Try it on. Ta-da. Ta-da. That is amazing. Actually, the trousers are really comfortable. Yeah. Really they're, really, they're really comfortable. I just need... There we go. Look, pull, pull that through. They're yeah, perfect. Oh, you got extra leather on your one. You have the... Also, the, this is a good combination. This is a luxury version. You see all the leather, yeah, and uh, the mother of pearl, and everything is. Yeah. And it's this way. Yeah, yeah, this way. Well, that way. Yeah. This, way. this way. As usual, I'm flanked by two giants because everyone around me. Let me just. <laughs> right, change, change back. So Ed's just trying a few more bits on. He likes all the new modern lightweight stuff as well. I mean, this is the other thing. FHB. Yes, they've got the tradition. Yes, they've got the corduroy and those beautiful outfits that you saw us trying on. But equally, they do all the modern materials. So that's it. We've tried on our traditional wear and we've really enjoyed it. We've loved it. So Peter, thank you so much. It was my pleasure, really. Thank we, you very we've much. We've learned an awful lot today about your culture, about how carpenters dress, and hopefully we can bring some of that to the UK. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe. Really. The only trouble is they don't do it in tiny sizes for me, <laughs> you see. I'm too big, the trousers are too short for me, and they were the wrong size for you. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. We have yeah. something for you. All right. Excellent. Sure. Excellent. I'm for sure. I'm for sure. Brilliant. Thanks Peter. for watching. Top Thanks for tuning into the channel. So something much. different, but it's all about carpentry. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you.